Hey guys, so today I'm going to put together some floater frames. They are canvas floater frames that I ordered from a local company. They do ship all over Canada and the US, but I am lucky enough to live in the area and can go and grab them when uh, my order is ready. They're called Upper Canada Stretchers and they are in Ontario in Canada and uh, great uh, website, easy to follow. You order the, the size that you want and they ship them unassembled. So as you can see, the packaging is quite heavy duty to, to ship. I haven't had them shipped. Like I said, I'm local, so I just run in and go pick them up. They give you a great discount if you are local and uh, can go in and grab those. Easy to put together. They give you all the instructions. They give you all the pieces that you need to, to put this thing together. And I think the product itself in the end is is gorgeous. The price point is uh, is a lot better than some of the uh, the local stores that I've gone into. Some of your big box stores that offer custom framing uh, were three times the amount that I found uh, through this company. So I ordered the size that I needed, went in and picked it up, and uh, all I have to do is put them together. I have used this product before, so I do know how uh, how it looks, and I'm I'm happy with it. You can see the one painting in behind me there, the red-headed uh, acrylic girl there. She has uh, the black frame on her, and the one I'm going to do today is the blonde-haired girl. So those canvases are the gallery canvas. They're two-inch canvases, and each one of those is 36 inch by 24 inch. So kind of a medium sized canvas for me. I have done one a little bigger and then I do have two other ones that are a bit smaller that I'm gonna to put together today as well. They are 20 inch by 20 inch and all of these canvases are gallery canvases which is your two inch canvas. But also this company, Upper Canada Stretchers, their main business is doing stretcher bar profiles. So they do custom stretchers for canvases and they also have custom canvas if you needed to order from them. They have ginormous, like 30 feet wide stretcher bars that you can get uh, covered in canvas. And some of the uh, some of the big artists that are doing large, they were working on one project when I was there and it was for a big stadium and it had a big, um, I think it was basketball, just this, a huge huge canvas and they do ship them and deliver them mostly into Toronto which is in my area but again they do ship across the US and uh, across Canada so when you get your package it comes wrapped up all nicely packaged with uh, a little pack with a little uh, instruction manual in there and all the pieces you need to put this together so it comes with the sheet. This is the sheet provided for the assembly instructions and it's it's pretty it's pretty easy. There's what one, two, three, four, there's five different steps that you, you can do to, to put this together. I do have a towel lie down on here just so I don't scratch my table or so I don't scratch the finish on the frame. So the first step is uh, that you'll need a hammer and a Phillips screwdriver, the dove keys, eye screws, and one inch Phillips screws. That is what is supplied in the package. So all of these little, what are they called? Dove keys, dovetail keys. So all of these little plastic keys go into the corner of the frames where they already have this little notch in them. And you just have to tap them in and it holds your corners together nice and tight. Once you get your frame together, they also provide you with screws and little eye hooks to put into the back. And the frame itself is pre-drilled for these pieces as well. So let's get started. So like I said, I do have two 20 by 20 inch frames that I am also going to frame today. So I believe that that's what these pieces are for. So I'll just get those out of the way. And I have a second one in here as well, 20 by 20. That one 
one goes there, 24. This actually has the measurement written on it, so I know that that's, those are my 24 inch pieces. And these are my 20s. Okay, so we've got all the packaging out of the way. So these frames are wood frames, a nice heavy duty wood frame with a nice matte outer to matte black finish on these. And I don't know if you can see in the end of this piece, but it has the little edge where that dovetail key will slide into. I don't know if I can get you to see. So that's the spot where that uh, little dovetail key is going to slide into. Pretty simple. So I started with a 36 by 24, so it was a bit bigger. These are really easy to manage. They're 20 by 20, just a square, and they go together the same way with the same process. So you start by lining up your edges and then tapping in your little dovetail screw. So I'll show you how to line up your edges of your picture frame. So you start with your picture frame face down. So this is the front, and you can see that there's a little, that's the front, and there is a little edge in here that your picture sits against. So that's your die. That's what keeps your frame even all the way around. Is this little, this little notch? So your picture frame sits on this level here, and then this is the space between your frame and your canvas. And then this section here at the front, that is flush with your picture frame. Let me grab the, let me grab the canvas, and I'll show you. So this is the canvas that I'm framing, and it is a two inch gallery wrapped canvas. So then your picture frame goes around the edge of your picture. All right, that's backwards. There we go. So when you get your picture frame together, your canvas will sit on let me face it this way so you can see. So you can see your canvas sits on that edge and then it gives you a bit of an edge all the way around your picture. Once I get it together, I'll show you how the canvas fits in the frame and I'll show you the screws and the eyelets and how they go together to hold your canvas in. So you start by laying your pieces down face down and you line your corners up together. Just kind of roughly line them up so that you can see the dovetail hole in the corner. And you grab one of the plastic pieces. It has a rounded end and it also has a square end. So you start with the rounded end and you put that into the hole and you push it down in as far as you can push it with your fingers. So I'll show you how that's done. The first one's always the trickiest because you've got nothing else holding it together. So try and get your pieces lined up and then get your piece started in. It goes in really easy. And once you get it in that far, you can push it down with your finger until you meet resistance. And then you need to get a little bit of a hammer. Make sure your cloth isn't caught in the corner. Towel's probably not the best thing to be using. So to get it down flush with the back of the picture frame, you just take your hammer, I've got a little plastic mallet, and you just tap it in the rest of the way. And there you go. So that's the first joint together. You can see that it's made a nice flush joint at the front. Nice smooth edge on the back and your dovetail joint holds it really secure. So I'll just move on to the next and put the rest of them in. I've got three more to do. Okay, 
Okay, so once you get all your four corners together with the dovetail, you can grab your canvas and flip it upside down or flip it over and then you place this on top and there's pre-drilled holes. Let me see if I can see if you can find. There's pre-drilled holes, one in each side that I will be putting the little eyelet screws into. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how to secure it to your canvas. Okay, now that I've got all of these four, you can see one at the top, two on the side, and one at the bottom. Now that I've got all four of these eyelet screws in, I guess they're not called eyelet, they're called, what are they called, eye screws. So the eye screws are in. I'll grab my canvas. You're gonna take your canvas and you're gonna put it face down. So you have your back of your canvas facing up. I'm gonna put it down onto the table. And then you're gonna take your black, or you're gonna take your floating frame, whatever color you might have gotten, and place it down over top. If you needed to center your picture from the front, you do this before flipping it over, and you can use little paper wedges if you needed to, so there is a little bit of movement in there. But I can tell from the back how square this is, being a 20 by 20. I'm just going to eyeball it so that it looks even on all four edges and then you're going to take your Phillips screws these are the one inch Phillips screws that they provided with the assembly and put those through your eye your eye screws into the back of your canvas stretcher And there you go, all four screws in. I don't have them in too snug, just enough to hold it. You don't wanna put any extra pressure or bend any of the wood, warp it in any direction. So once you get your screws in, your frame is attached. So you're, you're all one piece and let's flip it over and see how it looks. And it looks pretty good. So pretty well centered. You can see now how you have this edge that uh, frames your picture and the frame is flush with the top of my canvas so this is the gallery frame with the gallery canvas so two inch canvas and your gallery frame which gives you a flat profile along the side of your canvas so I'm really pleased with the way that it turned out you can soften the edges with the edge of a screwdriver if you wanted to just kind of run something soft or something um, rounded and metal over the edges if they're too sharp you can just kind of round them off a little bit if you feel that you need to do that but I think mine's okay and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out and yeah I really love this product it's so easy to put together and no need to pay for extra shipping on your frames that are already put together these are so easy to do and so easy to put together so there you have it black canvas floating frames from Upper Canada Stretchers. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can 
say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my high Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down